into Q&A right now. And uh, Chafik, since you're on here, I'll, I'll ask you the first question. In your experience, which type of bread is more suitable for this method? I would say this product. Mm -hmm. uh, like most of the, the, the pan bread, like uh, gives like a, a very good uh, uh, results. Uh, uh, the test was we have done with the white flour, uh, high gluten white flour with the 40% uh, oat flour. Uh, gives a very good uh, 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 results, uh, but there is other other uh, other products we can we can uh, uh, we can do with our flour uh, oat flour like um, thinking about all the waffles, uh, the, uh, also the uh, some um, uh, pizza dough. Like uh, usually, we, we, you need you need softness, you need extensibility when you want to to uh, to do your uh, your pizza. And with the high gluten uh, flour, you can by bringing uh, the or adding the oat flour. You there is some fat uh, in the oat flour that bring softness and also extensibility. And uh, as Mark he mentioned, the taste is uh, it's um, it's amazing. Um, adding that to all the mixes, like uh, the cake mixes, uh, 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 muffin mixes, uh, uh, that's that's also a, a other uh, application we can add for with oat flour. Great. What else can you um, uh, do with this oat flour? You mentioned that the oat flour can increase the shelf life. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you, like in my mind, I can't really visualize that. Can you explain how this oat flour, oat mm -hmm. how this heat treated oat flour can improve shelf life? Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is two sides, like there's the micro sides and also the uh, the staling side. Like for the micro side, um, uh, we do heat treatment. Uh, we reduce. Uh, 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 significantly, the amount of uh, uh, the, the, the 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 micro the microorganism that is naturally in the flower, and uh, it's ready to eat flower. Then using that, uh, that's uh, going to increase the, the 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 shelf life. Like there's less chance like to have a mold on your on your bread and other because more most of the contaminations. Uh, comes from the flour when you uh, when you uh, uh, you are making bread. Uh, that's the the flour, the all the microbe that is in the air that's gonna be in contact with the bread. And at the end, there is some uh, uh, mold uh, growth uh, that's uh, gonna come in uh, in the bread. And the other side, is the, the staling, like uh, we by using our oat flour, you increase the uh, absorption level. You're gonna add more water. That means the cream gonna be more fresh, and also um, because of the uh, pre-gelatinized starch, it's gonna uh, uh, take longer time to to uh, to to uh, to have a stale uh, bread or ha uh, hard hard bread. And that's that's this mention. Uh, uh, was was made from our customers. They uh, they all have like a shelf life of bread. They they still keep the same shelf life, but at the end of the shelf life, the bread is still uh, good to eat. It's not better like quality. hard, yeah, better quality, better taste, and uh, that's that's the advantage. Instead of adding some ingredients or some improvers. Uh, or some conditioner in the in the dough, uh, in the bread in the 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 the, the dough, uh, you can like using oat flour. Um, it's a natural uh, ingredient that kind of increase the shelf life. Got it. Thank you. Um, there is a comment on asking about the process of heat treated flour. What is the process? But I think it's it's such a huge defined process that um, you should read about it on our heat treated flour page. There's more information for you over there. So please go over there and um, see what's uh, being used for heat treatment of flour. 
Um, next question is, have you ever tried and compared this method with time zone method? And that's because um, time zone method, if some of you don't know, is um, cooking a part of the roux of the uh, bread dough and then keeping it overnight and then you reusing it as part of this, uh, the sponge and dough system the next mm -hmm. day. So this particular um, method gelatinizes uh, some portion of the flour, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, but I don't think um, it's really a good um, plug and play situation here. It's, it's totally different because the oat flour is not functional that way. Uh, it's not what do you call um, used for that kind of functionality. Um, so uh, I don't, I don't, I can't speak for you, Chafik, but I don't think it's a good comparison. Have you ever tried and compared this method with Tangzong method for bread? Yeah, as you explain it, yeah, for, for the heat treatment that you're gonna bring to the dough, uh, uh, maybe for the f uh, functionality, you're gonna have the same, but there's some some other uh, um, uh, other um, positive um, uh, side that you use in the flour, but you're gonna add more water, like the rehydration. Maybe you cannot do it with the, uh, this method that you mentioned, uh, but the, the, the yeah, like the heat treatment is most of the same, but you are missing some other parts, uh, but not by using so, just this Yeah, method. so if you're looking to uh, replace your roux method in a tongue zone using heat, Oh, uh, heated, um, heat treated oat flour. I don't think um, that, that would be a, a good idea. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> just my conclusion be, yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Ralph asks, how is the performance in raw frozen dough, Chafe? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, we have done uh, some tests uh, and um, uh, because the, the, the oat flour is going to hold all the 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 free water and uh, the 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 freezing gonna be better, and also if you and we have done uh, two uh, two things we 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 froze the dough and we froze the the bread, and for the frozen dough uh, it goes very well uh, because it, it catch all the water, and for the uh, freezing the bread also uh, like the 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 texture of of the bread when you start like uh, masticating it uh, it's better uh with the oat flour but uh, with the just uh uh white or whole wheat flour uh you 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 start like feeling that is um uh, uh like it's a sandy feeling when you like for longer freezing period that you you lose when you add in oat flour. Okay, got it. Um, is the heat treated oat flour gluten free? Question mark. Heat treated. So, sorry, I didn't get the. Is the question. heat treated oat flour gluten free? Uh, it's it's not gluten free. It's not certified gluten free. But uh, the oat naturally it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, gluten free. But uh, you using using oat flour generally using oat flour uh, heat treated oat flour in a gluten free product gonna bring a lot of advantage. Uh, you can replace gums as Mark uh, he mentioned. You can replace all the starches uh, that you uh, you are using. Uh, yeah, there's a, 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 a positive side like using uh, uh, heat treated oat flour in a, a gluten free. Yeah. Okay, and I have got a couple more questions. Uh, do you think the usage of this heat treated oat flour can reduce the use of improvers in bread? Because I was looking at your presentation just now, and that mm -hmm. mine. Um, as I mentioned, like for um, the the uh, all the improvers, uh, we can reduce the gluten. Like with the same recipe, if uh, mm -hmm. like 
white flour uh, with the, an amount of uh, gluten versus uh, oat, uh, the white flour, adding oat flour, you you're gonna reduce the, 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 the gluten because uh, the, the absorption level is gonna be higher. Uh, we uh, give you just a, an example. Uh, we, we're gaining like 5% of absorption level. You can put like uh, 5%. Uh, uh, and also um, what we have seen, uh, you, can, you can reduce the usage of, uh, of yeast. It means uh, uh, because of the pre-gelatinized starch, the fermentation go faster, we can uh, cut the, the amount of yeast that you are using regularly. Um, and uh, yeah, and also all the improvers or all the conditioners that we are using like for increasing shelf life, as I mentioned, that you can, you can also reduce them in your recipe. I totally agree with that. And I would like to add that, you know, sometimes just adding in more water in your system really helps with the machinability of the product, you know, reducing its tear. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and also and the, uh, the amount of, of uh, pre-gelatinized starch that you mentioned also really helps with feeding the yeast. So mm -hmm. you might even reduce some of the yeast food if you do use yeast food in your um, in mm -hmm. formulation. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what I wanted to add as well. Yeah. And sometimes we, we uh, were looking for a softer dough uh, to, to get more extensibility or uh, instead of like uh, using uh, enzymes uh, like um, some portuguese or some uh, uh, other um, uh, uh, improvers like to gain the extensibility adding oat flour that gives you softness naturally hey great so i have one more question before we wrap this up you mm. mentioned in your presentation that you're manufacturing specialty flour from cereals mm -hmm. under sustainable farming Mm -hmm. I'm always interested in that word sustainable farming. Can you <laughs> explain that a little bit more? Yeah, actually, uh, with Solange Mill, we are focusing a lot on what happened in the field. We are a close connection with the farmers. Uh, as you, uh, you can see uh, in the video, uh, uh, there is a lot of picture in the, in the, in the field. Or we're doing a lot of tests on different varieties. Uh, and um, all the work we are doing uh, before, like getting the 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 the, the cereal in our mill, uh, is to choose the right varieties uh, that is adapted for baking, but also adapted for um, uh, like they perform very well in the field, like higher yield, uh, resistant to the disease, and all of that. Uh, um, allow the farmer to use less um, less uh, uh, chemicals, uh, and that's that's um, that's th that's help us like to to um, to to use like a sustainable uh, sustainable um, uh, uh, grain. Uh, also, uh, for oats related to the oat flour, um, we're using naked uh, oats. Means you, we don't uh, um, uh, put a lot of energy for dehulling the oats because usually there is two kind of oats: the naked one and there is a hulled one. And for hulled one, there is a a, a step that you have you have to dehull the 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 the, the oats. And that's uh, the uh, energy uh, uh, wasting, like the, during this operation. Uh, with the naked, uh, naked one, we uh, we cut uh, this uh, this step, and that make also the operation sustainable. Uh, yeah, that's our relationship with the breeders. Uh, also, allow us to uh, to choose the varieties that is non-GMO. Uh, we know that there is non-GMO, but maybe gonna come up in the market one one time but uh, at least we know which variety we are using 
we are selecting the varieties that we uh, we uh, we uh, we would like to uh, uh, to use, like higher protein, lower fat, and uh, this relationship we have with breeders allow us to select the the varieties that is adapted agronomically, but also uh, they perform uh, in the in the bakery. It's so refreshing to hear that a milling company is investing so much into breeding and farming um, and I believe that is just going to help bakers in the long run in terms of understanding where their uh, their crops are coming from. Mm -hmm. um, there is a question about cost and I'm going to ask that person to uh, uh, approach traffic directly. It really based on what your consumption um, and also because we are at the end of our session and if you have any more questions, we place Chaffik's email on there and he should be able to direct you to the right people to handle your technical or buying questions. And also their website to check them out and see, um, or, or see their story. So I would like to end by saying um, thanks to Solange's Mills and Top Taste, uh, Mark and Chaffik for coming on today and sharing your ideas and um, knowledge. Thank you, everyone. We will see you at the next Baker View. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.